Alright, welcome back to, to my game between the Boston Bruins and the San Jose Sharks. When we last left off, we are were at the start of the second period now, in which this score is tied up at two goals apiece. So, this we'll see how it goes. Goes. Well, I hope my Bruins can score the go-ahead goal first. I'll do my best. Let's get to the face-off. And we're off! San Jose has it at center. The pass went nowhere. And Joe Thornton with it. He deeks. Oh no! Thank goodness Thomas saved that one. Horton. Shot! Ooh! Went out. Got. Don't touch that puck. Puck sharks. Let me take a little. Slap shot didn't work. Yes! Milan Lucic scores this goal for the for Boston. And it was an unassisted goal. Now it's time to throw it back down to the ice. John Schrader, ringside with an update. Right. Well, I just got back from a discussion with the head coach of the Sharks. He didn't want to dwell too much on the negatives, but admitted they needed to get better moving forward. Further, he called out their defense as being rather... Woo! And now have the two-goal lead with that one here in the second period. And that is Peverly's second goal of the game. Well, I guess Rich Peverly seems to be the good, great goal scorer. He tied this game up, and now he's brought us further ahead. Great job to him. I know this happens from time to time, Drew, but that certainly can't help the goalie now. Definitely not, Randy. You never want it to happen to you. You can see his look on the replay, where he feels it hit him. And I'm sure it's accompanied by a sinking feeling in the pit of his stomach. I like real Let's play get to for it. Sure. And San Jose wins the faceoff. Blow now. Here's Blow. Number 40. And now Boston with it across the board. Oh, if that went in, he would have had a hat trick. And San Jose brings it back in. And Mark Recky with it. Boston moving up. Recky shot. Saved by Niemi. Dorton in now. His team changing forward line. Here we go. Brad Marchand out there. Seidenberg shot. Miami saves this one. There's Tori Mitchell out in the ice. And Zidane Char recovers. The captain is skating, skating, and misses. All right, another power play. We'll be able to cash in on this one. It goes to Jay Leach. Here. Sometimes players just get a little yank on the stick to slow a guy down. But this was more than a little yank. That's usually a good call. And if you don't get a penalty and you're the guy getting yanked, you are not happy about that. Uh oh. Uh -oh. And the Sharks it up. He scores! Ooh. And he pulls his team to within one goal. So, so Ryan Close scores a short handed goal for the Sharks. Here we go on the replay for that terrific goal. Going, that's for sure. Watch the goalie try to prepare for this one. He drops to the butterfly position, but leaves too much room. The Sharks are now within one goal. That's a big goal. Second period. They've been down two goals. Now they got a chance here in the second to get. Yes! Yep! That's a hat trick for Rich Peverly and it's 
it's a power play goal too! On a power Rip has been the big stuff. Now up by two goals. While it's not an insurmountable cushion, it sure is a cushion they'd like to take into the third period. I'm sure it is. MVP! MVP! They're chanting! Because of Peverly's hat trick, he could get be one of the game's free stars for this if my Bruins win! Oh. Yeah! I thought I'd hit him, but it didn't work, and the former Bruins captain came back to haunt. That was a great example of seeing an opportunity and taking the open shot. It may have helped that he was wide open on that one. You're telling me, man. The Sharks have done it with that goal to get within one. Here in the second period, that's a big shot in the arm. Let's see if the momentum stays with them. Score they go offside. Number 19, Joe Thornton. Assisted by number 12, Patrick Marlowe. And number 44, Mark Edward. Another face-off about to commence here shortly, folks. Now San Jose's got it. Fight! And Gregory Campbell's getting ready to fight! He's fighting off against... Against Jay Le Leach. So that'll be Leach's second penalty of the game and Campbell's first. And Campbell goes down. Ready for the face off to his right. And here's Boston off the draw. Woo! And they now have the two goal lead with that one here in the second period. And it's a goal scored by Sean Fortin. With Brad Marsh on to get the assist for this. Sean, so Sean. Sean Fortin. Nice Sean Fortin. That's why the wrist shot is so popular, Drew. Not as showy as those big slappers. Quick and effective. The Bruins are really doing a great job of putting themselves on top and staying there. A two-goal advantage. They get that last goal. A very tough obstacle now for the other guys to overcome. It will take a major effort now. And there just aren't going to be many holes in that defense. Or to pop that set into the corner. Thornton picks off the pass on the right side. There it is, Boston on the right. The Emmy flashes Weber on the hard left shot. If it had been more accurate, Thornton would have had another goal. <laughs> the face off to the left of the Emmy. And San Jose has the puck defensive zone. Heatley. Thornton, great game for him. A goal and an assist. Avalay gets pinned against the boards. It's a two-goal lead for Boston. And he's shoulder check. And Danny Heatley with it. He's been in the box once tonight. San Jose moving up. Thomas gets in front to make the save. To Beverly. Recky, shot! Save. He just got stoned on that breakaway. The Emmy saves the wrist shot. Marlowe to assist for him in this game. Sharks, here we go. Heatley now. Oh, it missed the, the, the net. Right it hit the post and didn't go in. Oh, and Charles was held up. It's going to be a face off. Jim Thomas gets set to protect the right side of the net. The 
the Sharks get possession of the puck, trailing by two goals. And Thornton now. Boy, is this any good? They're, he scores! And they now have a three-goal lead with that one here in the second period. Sometimes you wish you could just spread out these goals over a few games. And that's Sean Thornton's second of the game! And Gregory Campbell is fighting again. This time he's fighting against Douglas Murray. Control of the puck. Boston penalty. Stick save. That was a hard backhand shot. He just stopped. Heatley. And Boston gets it back in the neutral zone. Taken into the zone by Boston. It's blocked. That must have gone off the post. Running for four. This tilt will be a post to over. He's dead for the post. Marlow now. It's fed back to the point. He scores. That's number two for him tonight. He's got the shooting touch, folks. One more, and it's a hat trick. Ooh, and Danny Heatley has scored again. Let's have a look at this goal. Find a something out of this time. That's been known to stop a lot of shots, but not on this attack throw. That was just a total collapse on the part of the deep. Joe Pavelski at the face-off circle. And it's picked up by San Jose. San Jose. Oh. And gloved by Thomas. Knocks the puck free. And Thomas decides he's going to hang on. Number 12. Patrick Marlowe and number 22, Dan Boyle at 17.05. The goalie will be preparing the left side of the net here with his face off <laughs> to the point. Here we go with Boston now. Here's Horton. Two minutes left for the period. And Auntie Niemi waits for the whistle. Thornton's line jumps on. Niemi in net, the face off to his right. Here's Boston with it, and the Sharks pick it up. Heatley now, he's been to the box once tonight. With the room, it's a two goal lead for Boston. Any more stick there, and he's going water skiing. Shoots! Right down flat on the pond. What a classic shoulder hit. Now the Sharks right back. He scores! Oh my, that's three goals for him tonight. And how about that? He does it on the road. Some very disappointed fans. Yeah. Really, Randy, this defense did not get the job done. It's one thing if you do your best, but when the defense falls apart, there's no one to blame but yourselves. They definitely looked a bit confused out there. Make well, it's almost the end of the second period, and we'll conclude it in the next video. Too bad Danny Heatley seems to have a hat trick now, too. Let's hope he doesn't get the game's number one star. Anyways, see you for the next part.